here at Bridgewater, we should all expect more and we should all achieve more. The new Math and Science Center at Bridgewater is, uh, is a great addition, going to be a great addition to this campus. We have been operating for more than 40 years in a facility that was designed for 800 students. Um, and uh, that facility now serves uh, more than 10,000, close to 11,000 students. So it is long overdue. Uh, but in addition to serving our own students, it is a facility that will, I believe, be an uh, enhancement to southeastern Massachusetts in terms of economic development, in terms of our ability to deliver science and math education and provide services in the region. So we're very excited about the new science facility. The need for this kind of a center is, uh, is obvious. Uh, we see not only here in southeastern Massachusetts, but throughout the Commonwealth and the nation, and actually throughout the world, uh, the advancement of our society is, uh, is in, in, in many ways founded on science and math discovery and education. And uh, so it is important that we invest in science and math education, uh, particularly at the collegiate level and at a place like Bridgewater that is a regional campus. Bridgewater is, a, uh, is the largest trainer, uh, institution, has the largest number of graduates uh, in teacher education. So teacher preparation is very important for us. We know that as we think about the development of science and math and the foundation upon which the economy is growing, it is important for our young students uh, to really have quality science and math training. This facility will allow us to train our teachers with the state-of-the-art equipment, and these are the same teachers that will be in the classrooms training our young folks in the region. So this facility will, uh, will serve purposes on many, many fronts. The center will benefit the region in many ways. First, the construction of the center will involve some 500 jobs. So uh, right away that it will have an impact. Uh, but it will also provide the opportunity for us uh, to engage with the region at a variety of different levels. For example, uh, working with some of the businesses in the region to, for our students to be doing internships that are science and math related. Uh, working with those same industries uh, for scientific development and ideas and thoughts, uh, providing uh, education for high school and middle school and elementary schools in the region through the use of this fa facility, through summer programs, uh, programs that we currently run that we will be able to expand with state-of-the-art equipment. So this facility will serve not only the college, but I believe will serve the region very well. We have had uh, tremendous uh, growth and development in our science programs, uh, and that's why this building is so important, because it will allow those, uh, the folks who have been engaged with that, to really reach their full potential. Uh, we'll give you some examples of what we've been able to do. We have developed a strong programs within the region for young children to, uh, at the high school and middle school level, to receive some science training and education here at Bridgewater. We see a number of our graduates in our science programs being directly accepted into PhD programs at places like Carnegie Mellon, Dartmouth, uh, Harvard, Caltech, uh, very prestigious scientific-based institutions. So we know that, uh, that our science programs are strong. This facility will only strengthen them more and will give us the ability to uh, work at many different levels on uh, these science and math areas.